Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Hope you guys are doing great so far. Trying to get rid of this. There we go. <clears throat> this is Coach Bill with Fat Loss Made Easy Solution. Hope you guys are doing great this late afternoon. Uh, I did a little, uh, posted something on Facebook in my um, Facebook group page that I was going to do a uh, glucose level. I'm trying something new. I've been hearing some scuttlebutt about trying or getting your, getting your body into uh, deeper fat burning and autophagy by doing your workout in the morning in a fasted state. <clears throat> and then just before you break your fast, about 30 to 35 minutes before you break your fast, do some cardio. So what I, this is my fasting day, which is 24 hours. Uh, we worked out today at uh, about 10 o'clock in a fasted state. Normally when I do my interval strength training, I will do sometimes uh, 20 minutes of moderate interval cardio. Today I didn't do my cardio. So I wanted to try to do uh, my cardio about a half hour, 45 minutes before I broke, broke my 24 hour fast. So I did my blood uh, glucose level around at 22, 23 hours. Uh, normally at a, on my 24 hour fasting days, if I do a blood glucose level, it's around 71, 72. Uh, which means I'm pretty deep in fat burning and my ketones are pretty good, are pretty high. Uh, that's normal for me. So what I want to do though, I wanted to see if there's a change, if there's a change at all, if I just did my cardio, which was about 45 minutes ago or a half hour ago, see if my blood glucose uh, sugar level had dropped below 71 or 72. So I'm going to do that live. So right now, let's set it up and let's see what happens. Hopefully, I'll have an explanation either way on what actually happened. So I'm setting up my meter right now with my strip. And I'm going to go ahead and poke my finger. Let's go with this finger here. I'm going to poke my finger right now. There we go. Let me get some blood going here. All right, I must be hydrated because it came out pretty fast. Okay, so here we go. Let's try it and see what happens. All right, let's see if there's been any much much of a change. Okay, holy crap. I went from 72, went and did my cardio, and dropped down to 61. So apparently... I didn't have much glycogen stored in my muscles to keep my blood sugar at around 71. So I was drawing my energy from whatever, from whatever blood sugar I had left in my blood, and it dropped me all the way down to 61, which is telling me that my uh, ketones are pretty high, and I'm pretty deep into fat burning here. So mo most likely my body won't keep me at that level it probably would if I would go another 20 12 hours fasting I would probably found some glycogen stored somewhere in the body and it would dump it in there but obviously doing your cardio about a half hour before you break your fast actually does work so those um, those experts out there that was kind of talking about it because I'm sure they tried it themselves um, saw an advantage of escalating your fat burning during your fasting time. So I'm going to have to do some more research on this and uh, actually uh, get involved in this and get deeper so I can get so I can find out how much more fat I could be burning if I wait until evening time or wait until I break my fast to do my cardio. So guys, I hope you saw some value in this. I did. This is kind of a little exciting to me because this is something new. So you guys have a great night, and um, I'll be looking forward to giving you some updates on how I'm doing with escalating more body fat burning. You guys have a great day. Bye.